Hello students, welcome to Well Explained. Today I am here with class 10th biology chapter How do organism reproduce? Students, as this is a very lengthy chapter, so I have divided into different sections. So here I am with lecture 1 asexual reproduction. But before coming to asexual reproduction, we should know what is reproduction. As the chapter is how do organisms reproduce, so what is reproduction? You must have studied it in your earlier classes. Reproduction is the process by which living organisms produce. Okay, by which living organisms produce young ones of their own kind. Iska kya matlab hai young ones of their own kind? Means a dog will reproduce to produce its own kind. That means puppies, cat will produce kittens, human beings will produce human babies. And in the same way, a mango tree, the seed of a mango tree will produce a mango plant. Okay. Now what is the importance of reproduction? Reproduction is the only process which ensures the continuity of generation or life on the earth. Students, we have studied about various life processes in the chapter life processes. They were nutrition, excretion, circulation, control and coordination. All those two, uh, processes, they were necessary for the existence or the survival of an Individual means अगर उनमें से कोई भी process नहीं होगा तो individual survive नहीं कर सकता है it will lead to the death. Suppose excretion of a person is not taking place properly that means the nitrogenous waste they gets accumulated in its body and it will lead to the death of the individual. But this process of reproduction is not vital. Vital means zinda rehne ke liye zaruri nahi hai. Reproduction nahi bhi ho, to bhi chalega. Means aapne dekha hoga, bahut saare aise couples hote hain, jinke babies nahi hote hain, then also they survive. But their generation will come to an end if they will not reproduce. We know all living organisms, they grow old and die. Aur agar is tarikhe se har koi old ho kar marta raha, the time will come, nobody will be on this earth. So what is the importance of reproduction? It is the only process which ensures the continuity of generation or life. Now reproducing organisms creates a new individuals that look very much like themselves. As you can see, the baby of this man looking like him is human being and this like Okay, now the mode of reproduction depends on the body designs of the organisms. We know there are variety of organisms in this world. Okay, unicellular organisms are there made up of one cell. Multicellular organisms are there made up of many cells. Plants are there, microorganisms are there, human beings are there, animals are there. So what kind of mode of reproduction it will take place. It depends on the body design of the organisms. Now mode of reproduction. There are two types of reproduction or modes of reproduction. Asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Mainly there are two types of reproduction. Asexual and sexual reproduction. Now what is asexual reproduction? The production of new organisms from a single parent without the involvement of sex cells or gametes is called asexual reproduction. That means only a single parent can produce many individuals without the involvement of sex cells or gametes. You must have studied in your earlier classes. There are two types of sex cells, male sex cells and female sex cells. That means male gametes and female gametes. And if these two are not involved in a type of reproduction, that reproduction is known as asexual reproduction. Some of the examples of asexual reproductions are binary fission in amoeba, 
budding in hydra, regeneration in planaria, fragmentation in spirogyra, and vegetative propagation in flowering plants, etc. Okay, now coming to sexual reproduction. It is the opposite of asexual reproduction. The production of new organisms from two parents by making use of sex cells or gametes is called sexual reproduction. In this, there is involvement of sex cells or gametes that is the male gamete and the female gamete. Examples of sexual reproduction means of the organisms which are reproduced sexually are human beings, fish, cat, frog, lions, rabbits, etc. There are so many animals or organisms on earth which reproduce sexually. Most of the flowering plants also reproduce by sexual reproduction. Now, in this section, as I told you in my lecture one, we are going to discuss about the asexual reproduction, the types of asexual reproduction. First of all, we will know what are the different types of asexual reproduction. What is asexual reproduction? A reproduction in which only a single parent is involved. These are fission, fragmentation, regeneration, budding, vegetative propagation and spore formation these are the different types of asexual reproduction out of these six we are going to deal with fission fragmentation regeneration budding and spore formation in this lecture and we will discuss about vegetative propagation in my lecture too okay students after these now five remaining you have you must have studied about fragmentation budding and spore formation in your class 7 but then also we just revise it now first is fission fission as the name is saying the splitting or the breaking so in this process of fission a unicellular organism splits or divides to form two or more new organisms means this fission takes place in unicellular organism this point is to be noted it's very important fission does not takes place in multicellular organisms it takes place only in unicellular organisms and this unicellular organism it splits or divides to form two either it will form two or more new organisms it is of two types if it splits to form two or new organism it is known as binary fission as in the case of amoeba and if it splits or divides to form more new organism it is known as multiple fission as in plasmodium okay now binary fission in amoeba coming to this in binary fission the parent organism divides into two new organisms that is when this binary fission takes place the parent organism it ceases to exist and two new organisms come into existence means as any parent hoga usi ke new individuals aenge. parent he divide ho jayega means there will be after this division or the formation of new organisms the parent will not exist okay some more examples of binary fission are uh, paramecium leishmania and bacteria etc now in this figure you can see this amoeba is reproducing by binary fission by dividing its body into two parts now how when the amoeba cell matures when it attains maturity what happens the nucleus of the amoeba divides okay you can see first the nucleus of the amoeba is dividing when this nucleus divides there is a division of cytoplasm also you can see here the cytoplasm is also dividing and ultimately it makes two new amoebae okay that is the daughter cells or the new organisms now this binary fission in amoeba as amoeba is irregular means its shape is irregular it can take place in any planes but there are organisms in which the binary fission occurs in a definite plane. For example, in Leishmania. 
what is lishmania lishmania is a unicellular organism it is also a protozoan it is a parasite which causes the disease known as kala azar or black fever this black fever is also known as lishmaniasis now in this lishmania binary fission takes place in a definite plane that is longitudinally with respect to the flagellum this is the flagellum and this takes place like this longitudinally this nucleus divides this flagellum also splits into two in amoeba fission can take place in any plane that i have told you earlier now this was the binary fission now coming to multiple fission as the name is suggesting multiple fission means that the organism splits or divides to form many new organisms at the same time now this usually happens or generally happens due to unfavorable or the harsh weather conditions what happens during these unfavorable harsh weather conditions a cyst or a protective wall develops around the cell of the organism okay and an uh, inside the cyst or the protective wall the organism it continues to grow or divide okay when favorable condition returns the cyst breaks and the daughter cells are released example for this is plasmodium this is also you have uh, heard about plasmodium it is the malarial parasite it's a protozoan unicellular organisms reproduces by uh, divided into many daughter cells and this is known as multiple fission clear to all of you now comes budding as the name is suggesting bud bud means an outgrowth okay in this a small part of the body of the parent organism grow out as a bud which then detaches and become a new organism as you can see in this hydra this is hydra budding in hydra you have studied in class 7th budding in yeast in this hydra you can see this bud is developing and it starts growing in hydra a bud develops as an outgrowth this bud is an outgrowth due to repeated cell division at one specific site these birds develop into tiny individuals and when fully mature when they become fully mature they detaches themselves detaches means they make them separate and becomes a new independent individuals clear to all of you now budding in yeast this you have studied in class 7th also in yeast what happens first a bud appears as you can see in, uh, see in this figure it appears on the outside of the cell wall okay the nucleus which is present this is present in the parent cell okay they it starts dividing into two parts and one part you can see it moves into the bud the nucleus of the parent yeast cell then divides into two parts and one part of the nucleus move into the bud ultimately what happens this bud separates off from the parent yeast cell and forms a new yeast cell okay when this uh, bud is mature enough to so it separates off from the parent yeast cell but the budding in yeast is so fast as you can see that one bud then other bud this first bud abhi ye detach nahi hue ek aur bud aa gaye yahan pe and it forms a chain of buds so this budding in yeast is so fast that the first bud starts forming their own buds and all of them remain attached to the parent yeast cell forming a chain of yeast cells after some time all the yeast cells of the chain they separate from one another and form individual yeast plants clear now next is spore formation this also you have studied in your class 7th now in spore formation what happens this uh, spore formation is usually takes place in mosses ferns and fungi in spore formation the parent plant produces hundreds of microscopic reproduction units called as spores what are spores spores are tiny spherical single cell bodies produced for the purpose of reproduction 
and they are produced and released from specialized structure of the plant body you can see this specialized structure is known as sporangium okay when the spore case of the plant burst spore case or you can say sporangium burst then the spores spread into air and when these airborne spores land on food or soil under favorable condition like damp and warm conditions they germinate and produce new plants means when they are under harsh conditions they remain dormant means they remain inactive and when the favorable conditions come favorable conditions are that the moisture is there dampness is there and warmth is there uh, they germinate into they grow into a new plant example are mosses ferns and fungi this is spore formation in fungus which fungus is it is rhizopus which is also known as bread mold okay and you have seen this growth of uh, this fungus rhizopus in this uh, rainy season on bread or whatever is left over food outside the fridge you can see this fungus growing now next is regeneration okay the process of getting back a full organism from its body parts is called regeneration okay in this the simple animals like hydra and planaria they show regeneration this means in these organism whole new organism can be reproduced from their cut body parts as you can see in this case of planaria this planaria is somehow cut into these three parts and each part is growing into new individual this eye portion it has grown into new individual this bottom portion you can see in a new individual and this middle portion has also developed eyes in the bottom portion and become a new individual and planaria is a flat form which is found in fresh water ponds and slow moving stream clear to all of you this regeneration of an organism from its cut body parts it occurs by the process of growth and development how the cells of the cut body part of the organism they divide rapidly to make a ball of cells the cells present in the ball of cells they move to their proper places okay within the ball where they have to form various organs and body parts of the organism the cells then change their shapes or become specialized to form different types of tissues these different tissues form various organs and body parts of the organism in this way a complete organism is regenerated but this happens only in lower organisms or lower animals not in higher animals okay now next is fragmentation okay fragmentation is the breaking of the body of a simple multicellular organism into two or more pieces on maturing and each piece grows subsequently into a new organism is called as fragmentation for example spirogyra sea anemones oscillataria etc this also you have studied in your class 7 in fragmentation what happens the organism breaks into many pieces two or more pieces okay this is an asexual reproduction and the reproduction by fragmentation method can occur in simple multicellular plants as well as in animals spirogyra as you can see in this case spirogyra is an algae it is a plant whereas sea anemone anemone is an animal okay so this can takes place in both simple multicellular plants as well as animals okay you can see this is spirogyra it's a filament uh, thread like filamentous algae and when it breaks on and this happens only when it is mature okay make on maturity it breaks otherwise it will not be able to form different individuals you can see it has broken into two pieces and each piece or the fragment will develop into a complete individual or organism now there is a difference between fission and fragmentation okay in fission 
what happens one parent produces two or more and in fragmentation also there is one parent producing two or more new organism but there is a difference okay no differences there is a difference and the difference is in fission a unicellular organism breaks up to form two or more daughter organisms whereas in fragmentation a multicellular organism breaks up to form two or more daughter organism you just remember this difference that's all for lecture one thanks for watching have a nice day but before you end you just subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be notified okay till then keep watching keep learning god bless you all